Check this out. Look in there. I am sorting through our mo our mushrooms. I am on level two of four <laughs> of oyster mushrooms. We hit the mother load today. Look at these guys. Amazing. So I'm brushing and prepping. The ones that are really nice, they're going in the fridge for later. The ones that need a little rinse, they're kind of dirty or they're kind of... They get chopped. And they are going on the pizza. After I fry them in some butter. And after I fry them in butter, You can also just freeze them like this. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? You don't believe me? No, I always believe you. You do not believe always me. believe me. Believe me, I believe you. See you in a minute. Good afternoon, everybody. Pandemic day number whatever it is. We went out for a huge walk and um, got these amazing wild oyster mushrooms. And then my amazing father and mother-in-law brought back these asparagus from a farm in the Okanagan. And so I just like, I don't know, what do you think? Too much pesto, not enough pesto, probably just the right amount of pesto in there. So here's some fresh asparagus. And I mean, in my opinion, there's no such thing as too much of anything. Too much of <laughs> Too much asparagus, too much pesto, I mean. Now this, this guy, do you think is a little fat? This guy's a little fat for my pizza. I'm gonna try and stay consistent with the asparagus here. And then I'm gonna cover it with feta, some fresh mushrooms. Um, we've got some basil in the window there. So I'm gonna put some basil on it fresh after, and I'll show you my finished product if you wait two more seconds. Can you wait two more seconds? Yes, you're the patientest guy I know. You know why? Because you're my father-in-law. Yep. Favorite father-in-law. Mm -hmm. Put in here first, you guys. I'm going to put some olives. You know, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to cut the olives, so let's just put full olives. Why not? Why cut them in half when you can have them full? You get more of a flavor burst that way. Just a bursting of flavor. Flavor burst. Flavor burst. Okay, and then I like to put the feta cheese on and then the mushrooms on after because I feel like that really features the mushroom. You know what I mean? Features the mushroom. Bake 425. This is naan bread from Costco. Here's a great dinner hat if you want. And as I was say, what kind is it? Garlic naan. It's organic. Yeah. So, organic garlic naan from Costco, and finish it off with a couple pieces of basil from this beautiful basil plant that I picked up at the grocery store. Same thing, why buy a package of basil when you can buy a whole plant? What do you think? It smells good, smell that. Smell it. Smell it? Whew. I've only had half of a beer, you guys. That's it. This is how I am, normally. Um, tomato. Fresh tomato? What do you think? No? No? Yeah. I got, I got the shake. No. And that's it. Voila. Individual pizzas. Check. This is, this is the second batch of pizza and I like to put it in the oven for a little while first and then put the mushrooms on. It's not that I forgot, it's just that I like to feature the mushrooms on top because I like to put a lot of mushrooms. So, you know, some people say it's too much, but... Again, it's my philosophy <laughs> that there's never too much. <laughs> there we go. This one is called Fungi Fungi. Fungi? Two liter fungi. What do you got there? Oh, this is Nona Pia's. Oh, she's Balsamic my glaze. Oh, Nona Pia. Yeah. Sometimes if we don't have Nona Pia's, we just take balsamic vinegar and honey. Yeah. And it is delicious. A little idea we learned uh, in university from Funky Pickle Pizza. 
White Ave, Edmonton, Alberta. Mmm. Check it. Get into it. Ta-da!